Every university has a mascot. For us students here at SUNY New Paltz, we have Hugo the Hawk. The idea for the hawk was created by professor and falconry expert Heinz Meng. The hawk represents academics, athletic, and personal attitudes associated with the university. For a while, New Paltz had a brown hawk costume, but it was hardly ever used. It wasn't until former baseball coach Matt Griffiths and student Ben Quick began using it at sporting events to add to the growing atmosphere that the costume grew in popularity. This is the story of Hugo the Hawk. Just like other birds of prey, Hugo likes to start off his morning with a nice gym session, including cardio, doing some curls, stretching, and dancing to stay swole for his daily activities. A healthy Hugo makes for a healthy school. My name is Jeannie Porter. I'm a senior and I'm on the cheerleading team and I love Hugo. What do you like about Hugo? Um, I just like that he kind of represents school spirit. Um, he's at all of the athletic events and um, when there's new people coming to school here, he welcomes them and... Do you find that there's a lack of school spirit? Um, I think maybe a little bit. I think that there's a group of people here that aren't so interested in um, like school spirited and then there's another group kind of like I feel like the athletic groups um, are a little more interested in um, rooting for SUNY New Paltz. Do you feel like the school would be the same without Hugo representing it? No. I think that every school should have a school mascot because it's just like someone to look to during like events like that. Um, do you think that Hugo being a hawk is fitting to the school, or do you think the school should be a different animal? I like that he's a hawk. Um, kind because of, if you, <laughs> I'm such a nerd, but if you <laughs> like read the description as to why he's our mascot, um, he was like born in the um, the mountains over there. I forgot what they're called, but. <laughs> He was like he was like born there, so he's kind of like part of like New Paltz, and um, I think he really represents this area. If it was a different animal, I don't think it would be as fitting. If you had the chance to be Hugo, would you? Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I really want to be Hugo because I think I would be super good at it. <laughs> because I mean. I think wherever Hugo goes, like, everyone just kind of, like, welcomes him and, like, I don't know. I think as long as he's, like, entertaining, like, people will, like, love him. <laughs> if I could be him, that would be so cool. <laughs> uh, my name is RJ Rosa. I'm a guard, and I play for the men's basketball team here at New Paltz. Uh, what year are you? I'm a senior. So um, just through your experiences uh, playing basketball for Sydney New Paltz, how, how has that been? How has your relationship been with your players and you know, just the overall st uh, body, student body in New Paltz? Um, it's, it's been going well. I uh, came in as a transfer, um, as a sophomore, and one of the, it was one of the easiest transitions, and that's I got to give credit to New Paltz as, as, a, as an institution and the players that were on the team, players the coach recruited. Um, it was a very easy transition. I got along with the guys, and I was mixed in with the team. and. And we've been going strong ever since. So I'm sure since you played for a sports team, you're familiar with the school's mascot, Hugo the Hawk. Um, can you tell us about any experiences you've had uh, encountered with Hugo in basketball games? Um, yeah, he comes to a lot of our games. Uh, he's a big energy booster for not only the, the players, but the fans as well. Um, I remember a time uh, my buddies from home came up to watch a game, and he was actually like interacting with them, and it was actually kind of cool because I mean I was on the sideline, I'm looking at it, and uh, they just lit up the entire crowd, and just to see them interact, it just made it that much easier and fun and engaging for for the fans because sometimes the game can get a little boring to watch. I mean he he really I mean especially sports in general. I mean definitely for the college, but for sports like he's really like iconic, and it, I think it's just incredible because I know so many different people that have worn that the, the 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 mascot and just the fact that it doesn't matter who's inside of it it's the fact that it's hugo and that he's what is everybody sees 
And just the like power that he has. I mean, walking through the hallways, you'll see him, and then you'll e immediately want to interact with him, rather than like other mascots where people don't really know him. Like he's he really makes an effort to be seen on campus, and uh, I think the student body also um, has uh, holds him in high value and and really uh, appreciates what he does and what he means for the college. So, so you're telling us that there's uh, multiple identities behind the Hugo costume? I mean, personally, <laughs> I've worn the Hugo costume, so yeah, there's, uh, there's, I mean, he's he's everywhere, and it's impossible to have that one person be everywhere, and, yeah. and there's always multiple games going on at once, so sometimes one guy, one person's working one game, another person's working another, and so, uh, yeah. When you're dressing up as Hugo, do you find it easier to be more outgoing because people don't know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one, it's easier because people want to interact with you more because you're in this huge mascot. And also, it's easier for you because it's not you. And so people don't really know that it's you. So it's easier to just go up to somebody and just give them a high five or, or just something like that. I think that sports teams would play as well if there wasn't like morale booster there like a mascot. I mean, I, I do agree with that um, because there are games where he's not there. And um, not to say that we don't have as much energy, but when he is there, you can see that there's a difference. So I think, yes, he, he makes a, an immediate impact, just even if he's there for the first half or, or just his presence alone does, because it boosts not only the players, but it boosts the fans and the players feed off the fans. So I think, yeah, he makes a direct impact. My name is John Oles. I'm the social media manager here at New Pulse, and I'm from upstate New York, uh, a little town called Delhi. Okay, and can you tell us what Mascot Madness is and your involvement in it? Sure. Mascot Madness is a SUNY-wide competition that runs every year during March, and it's really uh, a competition among all 64 campuses to see whose mascot is not only um, the most loved on campus, but it's really also to drum up a lot of school spirit throughout that time. And being the social media manager here, um, I help a number of different areas on campus to try to promote Hugo and to um, improve uh, school spirit. And how would you say social media has affected um, Hugo's interaction with um, the student body and just the school in general in the past few years? Yeah, social media has really started to change or impact the way that we run different competitions on campus. Everyone has their phone in their hand or is on co their computer throughout the day. And now with social media, um, if it's through Hugo's Twitter or on Facebook, we put out different posts throughout the competition. And it's really changed because it's a way of reaching everyone on campus and it's a great way to get out all the uh, news and kind of um, the hype about voting to make him win and, and continue to the next round. During Master Up Madness, we use Hugo's Twitter to reach out to students, but also to show another side of Hugo. He could be witty, he could be funny. He also, um, once in a while, he'll go back and forth with a, another mascot from another campus, which can be really funny. And so it's, it's just a one way that people can, um, they might for that time period, really watch him and see what silly things he might say next. I think it's really crucial that a, that a university has a mascot. Many larger schools will have a mascot at their football games, their basketball games. What I really like about how we use Hugo here at New Pulse is that he is a special um, you know, mascot that shows up at all different types of events. It can be for club events, student organizations, or even career fairs or different things. And I think it's really important for not only school spirit, but also for marketing these programs. If, if students know that Hugo's gonna be at a certain event, they might wanna go and take pictures, more likely to show up. If I could describe Hugo in one sentence, I would describe him as a very approachable, loving character. Um, he's really a hawk that it supports all different areas on campus. Everybody um, can always approach him, and he's uh, really one of a kind. Thank you.